when something goes wrong, it tends to be sudden, it's unexpected and obviously unforeseen. The immediate action, the first things that you do make the biggest difference to the overall survival of the casualty because at the end of the day, on the boat, you're still on the boat. So the initial care that you do is so important to the overall care of the patient while you're still on the vessel. The training that we're doing relates to what we have not what you'd have it at home and, and um, as the race has progressed from, from way back, from the Whitbread days, they've learnt more and more that it's become, you know, obviously the boats have got faster, they're, they're more dangerous, but um, the chance of injury has probably become higher and so they've lifted the whole safety standard in all, in all areas, not just the medical side of it. The Volvo rules require a minimum of two medics to be trained in the uh, use of the onboard equipment and for Camper we've decided to have four of our crew members do the training so that we should be well covered. It just makes more sense to have more people trained in that area. It's about having guys that are confident to, to take it on really and um, be happy to deal with the situation. So we learn a lot of skills in the course, most of it is basic life support. We don't do anything too difficult, you know, we're not into brain surgery or anything quite like that. Our first response really is, after looking after the guys, to get on the phone and get help, get advice from the guys that actually know what they're talking about.